So this was the scene in downtown over the weekend as protests took to the streets for a fourth night in a row over the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis. And the Valley, Javi, is no stranger to our own police controversies. So the question this morning is what type of relationship does the African-American community have with police? Joining us now to talk about this is Dr. Vernon Joseph. Uh, yeah, he is the pastor at Mountain View Church. Good morning to you and also a uh, world civility ambassador. Uh, sir, I know there's so much emotion uh, that is fueled right now as we see the protest and the violence erupting in streets across the country. Uh, how do we tone this down? How do we turn the corner from here? Absolutely. Thank you all so much for having me on. You know, the first thing that we have to look at is understand that this is a humanity issue. And when we talk about it being a humanity issue, what we have to do is take the name, take the emotion, take the feeling, take the race, gender, history, or any other bias out of it, and simply ask ourselves this question. What would we do if this were yourself? your brother, your sister, your father, your mother, or anyone that you know, a, a loved one. It can be simply a neighbor. We have to take the sensitivity back a moment and begin to pull the underlying current off and say, what is the solution? The solution is swift justice without bias. The African-American community right now is looking for prosecution to the fullest extent of the law. They want to be protected as the law says they should. Pastor uh, Yetta here, here, here is my issue with the whole thing. Uh, you brought up some great points, but uh, as you can tell from some of the voices coming from the community who don't agree with what's going on, who don't agree with the protests, we tried to talk over and over again, tried to make these points, but I believe until you have yourself experienced some type of discrimination because of the color of your skin, or if you, until you've had a family member who has done that as well, there's going to be a disconnect and it just doesn't seem like there is any conversation that can happen to break this down. So what do we do about that? The conversation has to happen at the right level. See, the reason that you're having protests and different things of this nature is because they feel nothing is being done. You had one officer that was actually arrested. We had enough information uh, or evidence to say that he needed to be arrested. The question is, what happens to the other officers? Now, we want arrest, but we also want prosecution. They were fired, we want them arrested, and then there needs to be prosecution to the extent of the law. That is why you're having uh, so much of this protest. This is not something that was organized across all of these states. People are fed up because this is years of frustration, time after time, incident after incident where nothing happens. The talks need to happen at the higher level, and there needs to be evidence and results that these talks are being taken seriously. I'm wondering, uh, when you say the highest level, and we only have a few seconds left, could you specifically talk about who you're talking about? Absolutely. Let's talk to our elected officials. Let's talk to the police chiefs. You know, when you think about the Federal Law Enforcement uh, Control Act, all of these things, they're given 10 days of training that have excessive force, they have uh, baton uh, uh, control, they have injury prevention. Nowhere in the books does it say that it's okay to put a knee to someone's neck. So police chiefs need to get together with people who can bring about change. We're prepared for the talk, we're prepared to bring action, but are we seeing action on the other side? Looting and rioting, let me make this very plain and clear, it is not okay. But incivility against one is incivility against all. Mm. And what we're looking for in the community is evidence and results that conversations are happening and legislation will change. Pastor Vernon Johnson, uh, a lot of people needed to hear what you just had to say. Very well said. Thank you. We need to have more conversations, and we will. Thank you for being available to us. Thank you for having us. All right, still ahead. Protest.